It's the latest attraction on Washington's National Mall. And with racial tensions high in the United States, the new National Museum of African American History and Culture is opening at a critical time. The trials and tribulations of the African American experience are told, as well as the community's contribution to life in the U.S. in exhibitions designed to resonate with everyone. This is not a story of black people by black people, but that rather this says the way to think about America is through the lens of this community. So if you want to understand American notions of optimism or resiliency or equality, it's tied to this community. So in essence, the message is this is your story, regardless of who you are. The museum's collected over 36,000 artifacts celebrating, among others, boxing legend Muhammad Ali, a champion of social and political causes. It opens as African Americans continue to face challenges. We're at a time in America where race matters again. Race divides us. This is a place that can help, help us find true opportunities to discuss and maybe to find some reconciliation. A view shared by President Obama, whose presence at today's opening as the first black U.S. president is a strong symbol. There's also this Cadillac convertible belonging to rock and roll pioneer Chuck Berry and for dance enthusiasts, shoes worn by Sammy Davis Jr. Years in the making, it's billed as the only national U.S. museum devoted exclusively to documenting African-American life, history and culture. The creators want the museum to be a place where all U.S. citizens can learn about the African-American experience and what it means to their lives. Yet the most recent police shootings of unarmed black men just adds another chapter to that experience. One that is too fresh to be showcased. Stefan Grober, Euronews, Washington.